Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a bonus video. Oh! And this is in a collaboration with Cool Pencil Case. And if you're not familiar with Cool Pencil Case, they are an online store that provides cute, cute stationery and supplies for school or your office. And if you're someone like me, who is a kid at heart, this is a site for you. <laughs> So I've gotten so many repeated questions about my current art supplies and how I organize them. So I thought I would combine all of that into this video and hopefully this video will answer most of your questions. And please be sure to stick around until the end of the video because there's going to be some fun things that I will be mentioning. So with that said, let's get into the video. Okay, so this is my current setup on my workspace. If you have been subscribed to my channel for a long time, then you know that I am constantly changing up my workspace. I don't know, I just like to change things every now and then, just because I feel that it keeps me motivated. Let's get into the first section. So let's just start with the left side. I'm just gonna pull this out so you can see it better. So I got this acrylic um, I don't know what it's called, but I know it's for documents. I got this at the office section at Target, and it fits all of my current sketchbooks really well. So let's start with the back. I have this handbook sketchbook. I think that's what it's called. I got this for Christmas from my brother and his girlfriend, and I usually don't use traditional watercolor paper, but I thought I would use it for my doodolinas and I've been loving it so far. Right here I have my Bando sticker book. I got this from Blick. I knew I had to get this. It, I use this for my moment diary, which is right here. And you guys know that I have a new series on this diary. And then this one is my urban sketchbook, which I will use for when I film my urban sketches for this channel, which I will only have about four. Um, I mentioned it in my 2016 update video. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link down below so you can learn more about it. And then right here I have my Slice of Doodle sketchbook, which I had made as well. So both of these I had made. And this one is my Muji notebook. And don't worry, I will definitely have a flip through video in the coming months. And right here I have my Moleskin Kaye notebook. I use this for my morning doodle pages, which is kind of like my version of morning pages. And this last sketchbook is the Crescent sketchbook. I'm not going to show you what's inside because I share this sketchbook with my friend Stephanie. And if you're watching Stephanie, hi. My friend Stephanie is an illustrator as well, so I will leave a link down to her Instagram because her illustrations are so awesome. You should check her out. And then right here in the front, I have my Schminka watercolor set. It's my 24 half pan set. And I use this mainly when I work in my studio. And then in the front right here, I have just some clips that I got from these three are from Blick, and then these two I got from Target. So that's the first section. Now onto this cool thing. So I got this from Michaels. It is a stackable tray organizer. And I actually got this in the jewelry section. It's just really cute and simple. It's the clear organizer. And I knew it would be perfect for all of my art materials, so you can just snap all of these down if you want to bring it along with you somewhere. But since I'm in the studio a lot, I don't like to, you know, push them down. It has a handle right here and the lid. So here's the first section. So on the top tray, I just have my watercolor brushes. I have some Windsor & Newton. I have some random ones. This one I got from SF. It's just a water brush. And then I have a couple that are Princeton Art & Brush Company. And then I have an X-Acto knife, which I use to cut paper. And then right here is my bamboo brush that I like to 
dip in ink and I use it for hand lettering. So the second tray is for all of my pens and my mechanical pencils. And I have, oops, I have the little pen drawing, technical drawing pen. I have it in two different sizes, I have it 0 0.3 and then 0 0.1. And then I have my Prismacolor Premier brush tip marker. So it looks like. And then I have my usual micron pens, which I use a lot. I have it in various sizes. I have it in the 005, 01, 02, 03, and 05. And then I have a few gel pens. These two I got from Target's uh, Dollar Spot. And I have this white gel pen that I got from Blick. And it's the YNC Gel Extreme in 0 0.7. And then I have my Pentel ink brush. And then on this side, I have my mechanical pencils. I have some lead here in 0 0.3 and then 0 0.5. I have my Graph Gear 500 that holds a 0.3 lead. This one is really good for smaller details because the lead is much thinner. So I got this mechanical pencil from Cool Pencil Case and it's the Right On Smart Pencil. And the cool thing about this one is that whatever lead you have in here, like for, for instance I have 0.5, you can switch the dial to whatever it is. So 0 0.5 is HB, so at least then I'll know that this one holds 0 0.5 lead. And then I have my pencil click eraser. Now onto the last tray. And I have my date stamp, which is from K and Company Smash. I got this one from, I think Target. Either Target or Michaels for sure. And then I have my ink pad, which is also from Michaels. And then I have this adhesive roller, which I don't know the actual name of it because it doesn't have a name on it. But I got it from Michaels as well, and it was in their scrapbooking aisle. And then I have two scissors. This one is from Daiso, and then this one is from Michaels. And then I have this compass drawing tool. I've had this since high school, but I like using it for when I want to draw perfect circles. And right here I have my Liquitex acrylic paint in titanium white. I like to use this for highlights when I draw my doodlinas, but actually I haven't been using it that much because of my current style. And then I have my bone folder, which is good for creasing pages. See how easy it is. That and put the lid on. Ta da! And now onto the cute part. So I got this from Cool Pencil Case, and this is their charm wallet and pencil pouch duo. And it has a cute charm of a giraffe. I love this pouch because it carries all of my current favorites and my current essentials. So let's go open the first pouch. Let's see. So when you first open it up, it has this cute pattern in the background. It's brown with some white polka dots. And I don't use this for my cards. I just use it for like my paper clips. Um, I have some tags here. You can see. Um, I have some stamps. And then I have a Polaroid picture of me and my sister. And so behind this, I have all of my stickers that I use for my journaling. I love to use this for my journals because it adds a little bit of cuteness to it. So right here I have these triangle stickers that I got from Michaels. And then I have a set of stickers I got from cool pencil case and I can't wait to use it because they have some really cute words on here and cute little characters and then I have the super super cute stickers of, an, of eggs and bacon I got from Michaels I actually have it on my phone as you can see 
And then I have these craft sticker page flags I got from Target's Dollar Spot. Um, I got it a long time ago, so I'm not sure they have it anymore. And then these stickers I got from Etsy. This is the Bonnie stickers. I had to cut it in half just so that it would fit in my pocket here. But yeah, so I also have this one. It's called Sweet Things Sticker. It's also from Etsy. It's a good thing that I kind of understand some Korean, so yeah, they're just really cute. And they have these shiny heart stickers from Michaels. And then these last four are from Kiki K. These are from my friend Shannon. So thank you, Shannon. She got from me for a long time ago, but I still have some. Super cute. So those are all of my stickers. And they fit perfectly in this little pocket. I love it. And so on this side, I just have some current pens that I've been using lately. Um, so I have my Macron pen in 005 and then 01. And then I have my Muji pen in 0.38. And this one I got from Cool Pencil Case. And it's the Rilakkuma uh, Friction Pen, which is so awesome. If you guys never heard of this kind of pen, let me show you what it does. So the cool thing about this pen is that if you make a mistake, all you do is take the end of it and you use it like an eraser. Oh, that's so awesome, right? I've always wanted a pen like this because I tend to make mistakes when I write in pen. I have my other Moleskine Kaye notebook. So that is the first pouch. Now onto the second pouch. Right here on the left, it has a mesh zipper pocket, which I like to put my water brush in there. I've honestly been using this more than my traditional watercolor brushes because this one is much more convenient. And I feel that I, I waste less water. So I love it. And then I have my Winsor & Newton Caught Me My Watercolor set. See, it's the pocket size one and it fits perfectly in this little pouch. And over here I have my sharpener. That's this section. Now on this last side, I have my Prismacolor Cole Erased Colored Pencils. And you guys know I have been loving this for sketching. I've been using it for sketching my doodlinas and I like to just have it show through my illustration. I don't, I don't like to just use it as a base. So I've just been loving how this looks. I was afraid that these colored pencils wouldn't fit in this pouch, but luckily it did and oh my gosh, it just fits so perfectly. I love how perfect this pouch is. It carries everything. And when I go to my sister's place or if I go somewhere else to doodle, I've been bringing this lately with me. It fits all the things that I would need when I want to work on some doodling and such. Oh, this is the perfect pouch. And yes, if you guys are asking, yes, I still use my clutch, which I made a video of. And I use that for every day. I use that for when I go to work or when I go run errands. I still use that. So this pouch is mainly for all the things that I really need for my doodling. So I hope you all enjoyed that video and thank you for sticking around to the end. So Cool Pencil Case has provided a 10% off gift code for your $35 purchase and the gift code will be CPCCV. So I will also leave that in the description box for you. And also, if you're not following me on my Instagram, you probably should because there's going to be a giveaway as well. Um, so be sure to follow my Instagram at Sharbogena as well as Cool Pencil Cases Instagram. So all of the important info and rules will be on there. So this giveaway is going to last until today, until February 6th, so act fast. And if you are into cute stationery like me, this is going to be a really good giveaway for you. So that is all for today, and I will see you all tomorrow in my Moment Diary video. 
And as always, create every day, stay motivated, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!